Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video of the day. For today, I will play the third scenario, the prophecy from the Sargon of Akkad campaign. This campaign so far has been very interesting. We had two achievements that were quite hard, in my opinion, especially the second one. It demanded me a lot of thought. And for this one, the third one, there will be a big battle, which will probably face the city of Ur. And in this scenario, we should destroy a monument before it is completed. So it should be very, again, <laughs> very challenging. I'm using repeatedly this terminology, but it will be something that will probably make us sweat while playing it, uh, in, in your case, to watch. Let's see how it will be. Um, it will be the last sp special achievement related to a campaign in the new Return of Rome DLC for Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. It should be really good, so let's go. Once, as Lugal Zagisi was burning down a temple, a dying priest uttered with his last ragged breath, the blood of the innocent will be paid for by the blood of the one. Not one to ignore a second prophecy. Sargon took the priest's words to heart when the reports of them reached his ears. They became a mantra that our soldiers echoed as we marched on Uruk. We knew that Ishtar would guide our way and grant us victory once more. I like the music. Hugh Lugol Zakizi. Right? And yeah, there is the city of Ur. Sargon can support a population of 75 and may advance to the Iron Age. You do not need to destroy the enemy capital of Uruk. Killing Lugol Zakizi is enough. Uruk is a heavily fortified and well-defended city. Scout the surrounding countryside for outlying targets that you can destroy to weaken Uruk's defenders. Do not hesitate to use Sargon in battle. Should he be wounded, he will retreat to your temple and return to the fight after he has recovered. Your allies from your recent acquisition of easing are reliable but need guidance to how to serve you properly. Set objectives tab for detailed instructions. Enemy elephants are deadly to soldiers but quickly succumb to the whisperings of priests. Good to know. By the way, as a Sumerian, you have access to elephants, which is another great resource that we might use now that we can advance with the Iron Age. Well, it's great. Uh, no mention specific about Ur. So let's go. Your scouts report after conquering Larissa, Sargon's army, one blue, has assembled to take the fight to Lugol Zagizi. Lugos is the ancient capital of Uruk, Tukurin lies in the west, heavily guarded by camel riders, slingers, and swordsmen. Lugos Akinzi, five orange, hides deep inside Uruk, defended by his bodyguards of hoplites and composite bowmen. He has also set up defensive camp six right outside of Uruk for his vanguard of horse archers. Ooh, horse archers. Um, that would demand to me a lot of caution. Horse archers are murderers in this game. And rumors tell of nearby farming villages have yellow that supply Uruk with food. Eliminating these will be crucial. Ooh, okay. Time to go after the farmers. Sargon's new allies for the city of Easing, Fort Sion, have brought an army of camel riders, chariots, and catapults supporting. South of Uruk lies Uruk, Three Purple, another city loyal to Lugol Zagizi. Ur will mainly train elephants, archers, and war elephants, but its ambitious ma mazes could be even more dangerous than its powerful army. We got a spoiler about what's gonna happen during to the achievement, but uh, let's proceed. Ooh. It is time to end Lugal Zagisi's Hello. reign of terror Hello. and unite Mesopotamia. Uruk shall Hello. belong to a rightful king. Not a corrupt Bum -bum -bum. desecrator of temples. Uh, 
Yuri, Alamas. Tarai, Yuri, Alamas. 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 Summers. Oh, let's just do a quick exploration. Oh, all right. So there is a camp from the enemy, and here is Easy. Rogan. Rogan. So yeah, we can use Sargon. We don't need to keep him alive. And remember, Bombes. we got cheaper town centers. We have spotted some outlying farms that provide food for our enemies. Ooh. What shall we do, Sargon? Turn them down. Ooh, that's delicate. Can uh, uh, is in our Sumerians, but we got Ur as Persians. That's not historically correct. I believe that all of them would be either Sumerians or Babylonians. That should be maybe the case, but Persians, I don't know. Yeah, it's more because we're gonna face cavalry from Ur. So, mm. just one, I need to check one thing. Uh, it'll be real quickly. Just because I don't want to restart this after 30 minutes of game. So let's just check the achievement. Uh-huh. There you go. Destroy Ur's Wonder before it is completed. So we do not need to kill Ur before it starts to build the Wonder. We can kill them as soon as we can before the Wonder is completed. Here we It's a very, very cheap. It's almost the price of a uh, storage pit. So it's a very good price. Oh, come on. So it's very good to use my ability to build as much as many towns as I can. Aisa. Uh, oh, I don't. I still miss a granary. What do we have here? A chariot maker that supplies Lugal Zagisi's army. Burn it all down. Where? Okay. Yuri, 
Where is the chariot owner? Oh, okay. So it's up destroyed outline stables. Ah, so that's that's what it was meant for me here. Yuri? Oh, Isa. Yuri? Isa. So Rogan? I probably will try to use the power of my chariots. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, horse archers. Oh, <laughs> we have. Um, they are actually amazing. Oh, my bad. Yeah, we're gonna go for horse archers. Let's use that gold for good use. Bombus, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> we are very, very happy regarding our villager quantity. So I will probably need to delete him. Let me check the defensive cap capabilities of the Sumerians. So we got fortify. We got the very excellent for uh, fortifications. So ballista tower. That's great. Pilare. <laughs> Sargon, tell us where to strike and we will send forth our army. O 
Pick them up. Hombus. 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 Bombus, 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 Broken, Broken, Bombus, That only very specific Age of Empires fans go for it. Go for it, sorry. The haughty masters of Ur want to humiliate us with the construction of a monument. Apparently, we did not make it clear enough that we are at war. to my wound. Oh, maybe we'll 
not make it, but let's try anyway. is huge. Hold me home yet, man. Forward. Let us smash our enemies. We need to destroy this.
enemy's stables are in ruins. Lugal Zagisi will have to do without chariots here now. They started to build a wonder and then it was destroyed right away? Is that it? So let's try to use this flares thing. Now we have a very potent army. Utilizing elephant archers. Even though the Persian ones are not fully upgraded, it's still very good. some mechanics and engineering in initial first one. As you wish, our soldiers are on their way.
damage of the heavy catapult is so so heavy so powerful nice goats by the way what else I need Are gone. Go get him. What would be here? Is there an extra fortress? got a city or actually economy
now he's clean to the terrain to the best towards here. And more gilding catapults for me. inhabitants will have no food for years. Was this really necessary? It was the divine will. Never question that again, soldier. It is not for you to query Ishtar's intentions. Yeah, that was heavy. Dude, it's like a jewelry fire. <laughs> No way it's possible to fend off this. It's an alchemy to make me have to make me get fireballs out of these uh, monstrous catapults. It is supposed to look like that he had uh, at least some sort of fortification, or I don't know, that's just some eye candy, apparently.
sweet. of the original Age of Empires, but still is using the game since it's beautiful for eye candy. Thank you. 
Where is Red? This is the guy that I wanted to kill. Really, at this point, I just wanted to destroy everything in the scenario, and I want to know where he is. Do they have a trigger that did not allow me to to defeat them? Now it's the feet. Oh, we can convert you? Really? So yeah, we essentially killed everything that was viable in this scenario. Ooh, he was coming to convert it. I guess you can defeat Sargon. Yeah, no way for Sargon, sorry. I guess even if he's like super healed by for five months. Touch me, you unworthy vermin! Oh, that's cool. Treat me as a common criminal, I beg you. A king deserves better. And I even got the trade workshop here. <laughs> You're out of here. And that was totally deserved. Very well done. I had a lot of fun. And that was a pleasure to destroy every single enemy in this map. Well, I did everything that was needed, so very happy about the results. Let's go. When we captured Lugal Zagisi, we did not kill him right away. Forcing him into a yoke like a common criminal, we paraded him all across Sargon's new kingdom. We took him as far as Lagash, within whose ruins the dying priest had pronounced his prophecy. The evil defiler looked old and frail as he knelt in the temple ruins for his execution. His death ended the age of kings that had guided the fortunes of Mesopotamia for centuries. Now it was up to Sargon to shape his new empire. And it soon became apparent that he had ambitious plans. Plans 
that chilled my blood. Very good. So yeah, that was a powerful scenario for us. Almost 250 enemies killed. And Izzy did a great job by fending off Uruk. That was a great distraction, very good for us. And about the rest, let me see. Uh, buildings lost. We only lost three buildings. That's pretty impressive. And 16 conversions. Among these conversions, we got essentially elephant archers. Which was something great for us. Something that we don't have in Tarsier range, by the way. So, a great addition for us. All thanks to Ur. And Ur collected a bunch of food and gold. But still they had a very large stockpile or maybe a trigger where they get a wonder to be built. But yeah, they they were no match for us. They just had no chance. Iron Age in 15 minutes? Not bad. I believe that there is achievement if I do the Iron Age in less than that. Those are high, 6 of 9, that's good. I believe it's under 15 minutes into Iron Age, that is, that is achievement. And a very good quantity of villagers to build a powerful economy, so very great. And we did not get the largest army, that was to Lugal Zagizi. He had a lot, a lot of army apparently. And I could destroy his army around as well. I hunt down all, every single one of them. Which was a great idea, by the way. Beautiful map. Ooh. Okay, zoom out. Here he is, beautiful map. I like this detail as a very old ruin, as a passage for a bridge very good, uh, great scenario uh, bonfire here many of the Zagizi army around and yeah, our final siege here was perfect very good very good to have a very decent ally so Izzing gave me a lot of trouble in the last scenario but now they were powerful allies, essential for my victory GG folks, and yeah, thanks for watching, if you enjoy my content, please do not forget uh, to like and subscribe my channel, please. See you next time.